Good evening, everybody. Hello, and uh, welcome to today's webinar. So I'm sure all of you must have been waiting for quite some time and wondering what is this all about? What are we going to be talking about? And I'm very sure that all of you all have a little bit of brief of what exactly is happening today. So there are so many students who are very interested in going abroad or maybe, you know, uh, planning to learn things that would help them in their careers and education opportunities outside of India. So today we will be enlightening our students on education opportunities in France and on career opportunities in Europe. And for all of this today with us, we have Mr. Charu Dutta Bodhankar, who is the trustee and executive director for Idraq India campus. With us, we also have Professor David Parker, who is the Idraq business, who is from Idraq Business School, France. We will also have with us Ms. Benedict, who is the Director of International Development, FIGS Education, France. She will join us in some time, and I will tell you a little more about her when she is with us. And of course, with us, we have our very proud student, Shubham Navkar, who is the alumni of Idraq India campus and who is now settled in France. We also will have a couple of more people with us who will be asking us so many questions and answers. And all of you can also please ask us all questions that you feel like, but do not forget to mention your name and number in the chat box so that we can get back to you on any queries. Now, before we start, I would like to request Mr. David to please give your opening remarks on what we would be doing today. And before that, I also want to talk to you about something. So you've been visiting India and the Pune campus a lot, right? So, uh, so if you've been visiting Pune and you've been teaching about France to us, I also want to know something from you that kashe ahad to me. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, I've been uh, before COVID times. Uh, I went to to Pune. I also went to Kerala. I went to Delhi. I went to to many places uh, around India. Of course, to Mumbai. And uh, yes, it's a it's a beautiful country. And uh, well, of course, the gastronomy is extraordinary. The food is delicious. And um, I must say, uh, Punjabi music as well. I appreciate quite a lot uh, with this uh, dolak rhythm, which is really typical of uh, of India, Indian music. And uh, I must say that the French, generally speaking, have a great appreciation of Indian culture overall. Thank, Thank you so much. So what, what is the Marathi words that you have learned over here, sir? Oh, only... You like uh, to address. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, only uh, um, Kachikai, how are you? If I uh, pronounce it correctly, and the answer to that, which would be Majet, <laughs> which oh. is, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> However, I did learn some very important survival word in, in India, which is <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. It is, yes, <laughs> That was great. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Exactly. And uh, Charu Dutta, sir, could you please also give your opening remarks on what are we going to go through today and what the students would like to hear from you? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ekta. Thank you for having having us on this uh, very prestigious platform of Maharashtra Times. Namaskar, Sagya Maharashtra Times, Chaya Vachikanna, Idrak India Kadna, Me Namaskar Karto, Tenta Swagat Karto. So today we'll have. Um, the entire objective of uh, today's discussion would be to give you more idea and more insights about uh, uh, education in France and careers in Europe. Because uh, going abroad is not an easy decision for a student or for family. And there are so many aspects like, you know, choosing a proper college, choosing a, a, a proper country, uh, then going there, studying properly, completing the examination, managing funds, housing issues, visa issues, so many issues and then after that uh, you have to be competitive there too you know because once you go to a global places naturally the competition is also global so there are people who will be competing you from the global platforms global arena so become competitive and creating our own career there is the uh, challenge and to make you give you more confidence to you to, to give you more idea to give you more insights about all this topic Today we have this seminar and I would really like uh, to thank Maharaj Times for the opportunity. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's it's actually a privilege for us to have you here and to enlighten the students all about what we are going to talk about. So uh, I would like uh, to request David, sir, to please enlighten us on France and its importance as an educational destination. As in what exactly, why should people choose France? Uh, thank you, Adka. Uh, yes, it's... Um... Uh, France might not be well known from India itself because, of course, it's a, a French speaking country. Uh, however, ties with uh, other European cultures and the United Kingdom it, it is there strongly. Uh, so uh, France is the fifth most preferred study abroad worldwide. So many foreign students are, are regularly coming here to, to France. It's also the seventh largest economy in the world. It's the second in Europe just after Germany. Uh, then it's the third most preferred business language in, in the world is French. And this is uh, very unknown. Um, there is one uh, special feature as well, which is here in France, uh, especially only for Indian students, which is a two year post uh, study visa extension. And not only for France itself, but for the entire Schengen area, which is uh, which includes Germany, for example, Italy, Spain, so many European countries, Switzerland, and uh, more than 300,000 uh, international students choose France every year. So France really is an opportunity uh, because there are so few Indian students who choose France. Therefore, this is really a way to stand out of the crowd by choosing France. Of course, it goes along with its uh, own challenges because definitely standing out of the crowd therefore requires some extra effort. Uh, so what are the other advantages uh, which are there of studying in France? So France is a world-class education. You have many French um, multinational corporations which are all over abroad. There are a few French multinational corporations which are also there in India. Um, you might know about the uh, Dassault uh, fighters that uh, the um, Indian government has recently purchased. Well, those are French made and uh, there's a lot of high tech in France, uh, but also car manufacturers. And uh, definitely uh, there are good global opportunities Typically, uh, even if you finish your studies in France, you have access to the 26 other Schengen countries, such as Germany, Sweden, and so on, as I said previously, for career opportunities. Uh, there is an ability to, to get a part-time job during the studies, which is, in average, uh, you would be getting 800 euros per month. So this could uh, help cover your, your living costs. And there is also this government subsidy for, for students um, to, uh, it is called CAF benefit, where 30 to 50% uh, expenses for rental can be uh, refunded by, by the French government. Also, uh, we have experienced with uh, COVID times uh, the um, social security benefits which are also there, the government health insurance that uh, uh, many of the Indian students tell me about that they are quite, uh, they've appreciated quite a lot having uh, high quality uh, treatment, uh, care and so much refunded. So definitely uh, over, if you compare that with, with the US for example, uh, health insurance is it, in, extraordinarily beneficial. And as said uh, previously during COVID times, uh, students, uh, foreign students really did experience it. So I guess uh, I have covered uh, really the most essential things uh, regarding the opportunities of studying in France right. and France is a beautiful country as well. I am sure it is. And with all the presentation that we are seeing, we can already see the opportunities. I also wanted to know a little more about the Idraq Business School in France. So Idraq Business School in France is a school which was founded in 1965. Um, it has more than 10,000 partner companies. Uh, recently, uh, Coca-Cola in Europe has also established a, a partnership uh, with us uh in order to uh well uh select some of our students uh through a, 
uh, a challenge. So it's called the uh, IDRAC Coca-Cola uh, challenge where our students are able to design a marketing company, a uh, marketing campaign for Coca-Cola in Europe, especially uh, promoting uh, gender equality uh, and fight against discriminations. And uh, this is a ground for Coca-Cola to, to see what our students are capable of and also uh, hopefully uh, employ a few of them at the end of the of the um, of the challenge uh, we have more than 55 years of legacy so uh, coca-cola isn't the only uh, partner we have we have many other companies which which are there uh, of several sizes of course multinational corporations some of our students work at uh, orange which is a huge um, mobile uh, network, um, uh, like Tata Mobile, <laughs> I guess, is um, a, a network uh, in uh, telecom company. Uh, we also have students working for McDonald's. We have students, uh, of course, not in in uh, in restaurants, but at uh, at uh, management. Um, uh, positions. We also have uh, some students who are working for uh, so many multinational corporations in, in uh, CMA, CGM, in international logistics. So, so many companies, uh, Thales, which is a weapons manufacturer. Well, <laughs> yes, uh, that uh, unfortunately is uh, yes necessary, but uh, successful as well. Uh, so more than 55 years of legacy here in France. Uh, we have 20, more than 25,000 alumni around the globe. Uh, we have, um, I can think of one of our students who is there in India, in Delhi, who has set up a travel agency. Uh, for foreigners to, to come to India and cross uh, all over uh, India by motorbike. So that's one of our former students who is there, who, who runs that business in, in India. And we have more than 600 expert faculties uh, to, to teach. So we have permanent faculties such as myself, but also business experts who appreciate sparing some time out of their regular job and teach our students to tell them what things are, how things are going on in the workplace today. So that's it about IDRAC overall, but regarding the programs itself, uh, we are accredited by French Ministry of Higher Education and the French Ministry of Employment. This means that uh, we have European accredited degrees. We also have RNCP level seven certification, which is linked to the European accredited degrees, but RNCP level seven is the highest uh, level of recognition before PhD, then PhD is even higher. So this is the, the top uh, masters, if you prefer, uh, which is there in, in France. Uh, our programs, not all of them, of course, because uh, most of our students are French, but we have dedicated 100% English taught programs here in France. So definitely this is, uh, this is very interesting for our foreign students who, who come along from so many destinations around the world. Of course, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, but also China. We also have uh, Latin America, Colombia, um, few US students though, <laughs> but nevertheless, some, some decide to, to come along. Then um, about the physical implementation of uh, location of, of IDRAC, we have um, nine campuses all over France in the cities of uh, Bordeaux, which is starting to be more and more uh, known worldwide due to the uh, it being the capital, international capital of wine. Uh, Bordeaux has a very long history of wine production. Then there also is a campus uh, in Grenoble, another one in Lyon, which is a major uh, industrial uh, city there in, in, in southeast of France. Montpellier, which is on the Mediterranean coast. Uh, Nantes, which is um, traditionally a place where many big container ships and cruise ships are, are manufactured in Nantes. Then we also have Nice, Paris, of course, which is the capital of France and Toulouse, where Airbus is uh, very strongly implant, implanted there because that's where all the, the airliners are 
finally assembled and tested there in Toulouse. We also have six associate campuses in Europe and Asia, uh, Dublin and Cork in Ireland, Nor in uh, the Czech Republic, Barcelona and Santander in Spain. We also have um, a Pune, which is a Pune campus uh, in India, and some other partners uh, in China uh, uh, and so on, but not really uh, so deeply intertwined with the, these partner campuses. So on the next slide of the presentation, you, you will be uh, able to just uh, have a look at, um, at different pics of, uh, of our campuses, which are there, uh, well, in France and in India. Uh, so uh, different sizes of campuses. Uh, Lyon campus is, is the biggest uh, we have more than uh, 6,000 students uh, can, be, can be found there. And uh, we have a slightly smaller campus in Bordeaux, not uh, Nice and Paris. So yes, uh, we are continuing to, to develop more and more students uh, from France and from Europe and the rest of the world are coming every year um, to study with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. David. This was this was uh, not just enlightening, but it was actually so uh, intriguing as well. You know, it's so beautiful to see all these campuses sitting here, and we can actually see all of these campuses of Idraq. And this is nice. I'm sure the students are liking it too. Thank you so much. So uh, when I'm seeing all of these campuses all over the world that you have, I wanted uh, Charu Soraz and Mr. Bodhankar to please tell us that uh, what was your vision behind starting the India campus, you know, the Idraq India campus? Could you please tell us what was your vision behind it? Yes, uh, when, when, we, uh, when I used to go to various countries uh, for, you know, uh, and visit various universities, uh, for teaching or for other academic purposes, I observed that uh, France is uh, one of the you know provides world class education systems and infrastructure, and France is a very appropriate gateway for entire Europe for students to explore their career. Right. But uh, we also uh, recognized when I was talking to so many students abroad, uh, I have seen them how how they uh, faced many difficulties also. And what it takes to, you know, uh, readjust uh, the entire life process in a new country. So the idea was to uh, provide uh, a kind of a support structure to Indian students, those who wanted to go abroad, save their time, save their energies for non-academic works, mm -hmm. and al also save their cost because India is a cost-sensitive country. Uh, people, because... Uh, in developed countries, the cost of living are very high. So Indian uh, uh, people find it very uh, expensive. So we wanted to save their money also. And we wanted to give them a kind of acclimatization of France, of Europe, even before going to Europe right from India. So that when they will go there, they will go with la great confidence. And the, from day one, if you are, you know, once you are confident, you are positive. And if you are positive, things fall, mostly things fall in right, right direction. So that's the entire objective to give student confidence, to give them knowledge and acclimatize them at the same time, save their money, time and energy. That was the objective. That's really thoughtful. That's really thoughtful of you, sir. So when you have been thinking so much about the students, about, you know, how they can go about when they're thinking about their careers and education in France or Europe, say, so you must have come across so many questions, you know, with such a long list of career that I read about you. So you must have come across so many students who are very inquisitive and very curious about so many things. So why don't you just tell me what are the, you know, most frequently asked questions that students have? Yes, definitely. Uh, not only students but parents also yes, they have yes. so many questions in their mind and they are very curious and they do come to us and ask uh, many things so few of the questions I would uh, take this opportunity to explain you uh, first thing is why one should think of studying abroad why I should go abroad why can't I study in India is India is not a uh, a good country where good quality of education is not available. 
the answer is yes definitely available india is a very prominent country and we also have a very uh, competitive academic structures but at the same time you know uh, our demand supply ratio is uh, not uh, very favorable for many students i mean to say if uh, for a let's say example uh, of a 12 standard student and even a graduate student Uh, if you wanted to go to a very class uh, high uh, world uh, renowned college in india uh, so how many seats you have you have to go to iim you have to crack the cat and it's very difficult for maybe millions of students you have few thousand seats so that's the one problem that we have quality education but it is not in reach of everybody number 2 once you go abroad you know your horizon expands you get a global exposure you get to meet with global uh, students global faculty global industry and that's apart from college that also enhances your personality your profile so for uh, one basically for high quality education and second for a global exposure and third for a global career from if you passed out of india it's very difficult to you know start a job in europe but if you are passed out in europe it's comparatively very very easy to you know find a job and stay for a very long time or probably you know even settle in some of the countries in europe or america wherever you know life takes you so for this three reason i think uh, one should also uh, one should consider going abroad so that was uh, uh, one question apart from this student also asked me about sir why france why why should why i shouldn't go to any english speaking country when i say english speaking country you know I'm immediately few countries like uk australia canada these countries comes in our mind so <clears throat> why i don't why won't i you know prefer english speaking country over a, a, a france which is not a dominantly uh, english speaking country so yes there are advantages of going to english speaking countries but there are advantages of going to a country like france also first thing is uh, uh, the uh, because of the herd mentality that we have we have seen from hundreds of years uh, our forefathers and everybody has been going to foreign that's in england for education that has what that has done is that has crowded that market so today if you see an indian student is giving an interview in uk most likely or in america or australia most likely the other competitors for the same job are indians only not only indians you will find maharashtrians also maybe some gujarati brothers also and maybe from uh, malayali brothers also so we have it is a number first reason is it is quite crowded with indians only so uh, in in france you have comparatively uh, the momentum for france has just begun so those who will go early will definitely have more opportunities second thing when once you go to france naturally you will learn french as a language which is spoken in 80 countries in the world so most of the indian student already know uh, two to three languages like if you are in maharashtra you know marathi hindi and english if you are from gujarat you know gujarati uh, hindi and english and now you know french also so you can imagine uh, how your reach expands by going to france your reach expands beyond english speaking countries for education for career for everything <clears throat> and another good reason for going france is go, there are so many government benefits there there are so many advantages that government is giving so these are the basically question that, uh, that what government is helping us many student ask me uh, is it real that the, the french government wants us to come there for education the answer is yes the uh, uh, the overall age of french people are much much higher than the overall age of indians so <clears throat> good indians young indians are welcome there in france and the uh, the, uh, the the visible uh, proof for those is Uh, the calf benefit which david was talking about 
that if you go to france government will pay around 30 to 50% of your residential expenses many of the student centric discounts are there it may be for commutation it may be for some muse some museums or maybe you know visiting any other places students are you know always given discounted rate and those discounted rates are applicable for indian student also it's not that only french national students will get those benefits so my point is apart from that after completion of the program if somebody wishes to do business there <clears throat> the all the government schemes for entrepreneurs are also open for indian student right from funding to their projects and all so this is the unique advantage then many student ask about the internships part time opportunities whether part time opportunities are available or not yes that's the very important uh, part of french uh, education system internships are integral part and every student goes through an internship and all those internships are paid internships and along with internships it is only for 35 hours all internships are uh, 35 hours per week so you get extra time and in extra time you can also work in a part time work privately also <clears throat> there are scholarships many scholarships people ask me can i get scholarship i have financial issue uh, there are around 500 types of scholarships available for going to france you can contact campus france for that they will guide you apart from that idrak also provides uh, scholarships so that scholarship is also available Uh, and the living cost compared to Fra in france is compared to america and canada is less but the standard of living and standard of education is at par with uh, us and canada so these are the few questions which are been generally asked by uh, most of the students or to you ekta right thank you so much sir so that was uh, actually so much of information i don't think that in the chat box now there would be more questions because i guess you have almost answered all the possible queries that uh, students should have so uh, thank you so much for that i would like to speak to david sir now uh, david sir i wanted to uh, know from you that uh, what exactly are the programs that are offered by the idrak uh, india campus you know uh, not just the international campus but for it, it, our uh, can, can we have benedict if benedict is there i think is she there is here i I'm like definitely there. I, I can you hear me something. can you hear me yes can you see yes, me uh, yes 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 so uh, i guess i guess you're traveling and thank you. you so much okay hold on i'm just trying can you see me now yes 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 yes, yes and bonjour you are Sorry. traveling thank bonjour, you so bonjour. much Bonjour, yeah, bonjour. I actually, I am actually traveling to uh, to the Alps for a weekend because uh, I have two days off. So uh, my husband and myself are oh hello actually <laughs> <laughs> actually uh, driving to the Alps. Just wanted to say hello to uh, everybody and to future student choosing France and choosing uh, our programs. Just wanted to let you know that. Uh, life has gone back to normal as you can see uh, so we are enjoying and also um wanted to let you know that i have a, a wonderful team in india extremely professional and very competent so you can uh, definitely uh, trust them follow them follow their advices and as far as my i am concerned well i am looking forward to uh, Welcoming you in France, actually. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I guess we will not uh, be bothering you with too many questions. We would just like to thank you so much and appreciate Merci. that you took some time out out of the out of your traveling routine. Thank you so much. Merci. À bientôt. Au revoir. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Have a great trip. Bye. Travel safe. Thank you. So yes that was that was really sweet of Benedict ma'am to join us uh, I guess she is the director international development FIGS education of France So uh do we still have with us David sir 
I'm still here. <laughs> yes, hello. So I wanted to know uh, if you could just tell us a little more about the programs that are offered by the Idrak India campus to our students. They're, they're very curious, you know, they're very curious. Uh, though Charu sir has answered all the possible questions, but we need some more. Thank you, Akka. Uh, so yes, we have uh, these four programs which are which are there in India and followed in France afterwards. So first of all, an MBA in wine industry management, another one in international business. Both of those are taught in Pune campus and afterwards in the uh, French campus of Bordeaux. Uh, then there also is an MBA in management and entrepreneurship and another MBA in computer science and information systems. So there are these four programs that are started that you, students start in, in Pune campus, uh, are groomed there, are assisted with visa application, with uh, uh, understanding the, the do's and don't do's which are here in France. And then once they are ready, they, they come across to, to finish their, their program here. And uh, they also have the option to, to do an internship here in France and then uh, apply for two year visa extension. So uh, definitely something, uh, some great opportunities which are, which are here in France. And please remember that these two years of visa extension are not offered to other students than those coming from India. So this is really something that shows that French government really wants to, to create some ties, some strong ties with, with India. Um, President, um, uh, Prime Minister Modi and President Macron uh, have regularly meted and they are really trying to, 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 to step up um, our mutual relations. So on the other hand as well, uh, wine is starting to be more and more known there in India. I have uh, had the opportunity to, to taste uh, Sula wine which is there in India. And I must say for, for a, a French person, it is definitely really decent wine. Uh, and there are also so many multinational corporations between France and India. Uh, maybe you might be aware that uh, the French find that the Royal Enfield motorbikes are so beautiful. So uh, it is selling very well here. So definitely international business between France and India is, is there. So. Maybe sh should I uh, take the opportunity to, to explain a bit more about those two programs which are taught here in, in Bordeaux? Please do, please do. Our students would love to know more. Thank you, Edgar. So uh, first of all, this MBA in wine industry management. Uh, so France is the leading producer of, of wine worldwide. Uh, France has a long history of uh, wine production. And uh, well, uh, 50 years ago, wine was even served at lunchtime in school for pupils, for, for, for the young students. So um, of course, this has changed very much since. Uh, but wine is definitely strongly in French culture. There are, uh, the reason is uh, mostly is because there are some agricultural plains fields here which are definitely extremely good to grow uh, grape which uh, makes wine so the wine market worldwide is expected to grow uh, wine really has this symbol of uh, this um, status symbol uh, wine is also a luxury product that's in some ranges so um, France is the leading producer worldwide uh, far ahead or quite ahead of many other countries. Uh, there also is Italy, Spain, Australia, of course, India, uh, which are wine manufacturer, wine producers. But in front of all, definitely France is the, the largest wine exporting company. So wine exporting is also international business at, at the end of the uh, at the end of the day, but also um, there's a lot of uh, marketing which is there in, 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 in wine, um, really business management there in wine, which is, um, which is at the same time very common to many other industries, many other sectors, but also quite specific uh, to the wine industry itself. 
So France uh, is the number one uh, wine exporter in the world. You can see it on, on the map, which is there on, on the next slide, uh, which is um, information coming from Statista uh, website, which uh, is there to, um, to provide statistics on, on so many things here, specifically about wine exporting. Uh, so maybe you heard of some brands on the next slide, such as Chandon, uh, Rémi Martin. Maybe you heard of uh, Champagne, Champagne, uh, Mouette and Chandon. So maybe th those few names don't necessarily ring a bell right away, but uh, uh, maybe you know Louis Vuitton, the luxury uh, brand. In fact, Lux this luxury uh, brand, Louis Vuitton, belongs to a huge conglomerate, um, which is called LVMH, Louis Vuitton, LV. M stands for Mouet and Chandon, which is luxury champagne. And the H that you can see on the top uh, right side here on your screen is Hennessy. Those, all those brands belong to this conglomerate, this huge corporation in, in the luxury industry. And the uh, CEO of this company is Bernard Arnault, who is, depending on uh, financial markets, either the most richest person in the world or the third richest person in the world. Uh, so Bernard Arnault is a French person who has this luxury uh, conglomerate, this luxury corporation with so many brands. Alongside LVMH Group, there also is um, the, um, the group called Caring. Caring is also a French multinational corporation in the luxury industry. And those multinational corporations originating from France have so many wine companies in the portfolio of brands that they have. So definitely wine is a very intensive market with so many positions uh, which are there job wise, but also strategically you have high luxury wines, uh, high range, middle range and, and low range. And all of those companies really have interesting options there for, for positions and to do global trade. So uh, the uh, global opportunities with our MBA in wine business management. Uh, so uh, the industry is there with, uh, which is worldwide, uh, our course starting in Pune will then be uh, conducted in, in Bordeaux in France, which is the uh, international capital of uh, wine. And uh, there are so many uh, vineyards around Bordeaux. Uh, last time Charusa was, uh, was in Bordeaux uh, in, at the end of last year, I, I drove him around uh, these uh, vineyards, which are around uh, Bordeaux, such as Pomerol, Saint-Emilion. Uh, for those of you who, who know some uh, of those um, very famous wines, such as uh, Petrus, Chateau Petrus, Cheval Blanc, uh, but also uh, Angel L'Angelus, uh, those bottles of wine for, of, those, uh, of those chateaus can go for one lakh rupee, maybe even more. So really, uh, we, we went around the countryside of Bordeaux to see, see all this. So uh, the idea here is that you are in the heart of the worldwide capital of the wine industry and therefore studying here definitely makes a lot of sense. So um, what career opportunities are there uh, after this program? So uh, I, I really would like to, to uh, set forth a, a disclaimer right now because uh, sometimes it can be confused. Our, our program is about wine business management. It's not wine production. Wine production is about chemistry, uh, is about agro, pro, uh, agricultural processes. And even though there is some knowledge about this, this is not what the program is about. Here, it really is about managing a wine uh, production company, so not doing the production itself, but 
managing the product, managing portfolio of, of wines, uh, brands also. A chateau or one wine company could have several brands and, and labels. Uh, there are also opportunities in wine tourism and hospitality and cuisine. Um, typically having some understanding of the wine business would prepare people for a position in uh, wine and food pairing, uh, being trainers and consultants, especially wine tourist managers. Uh, there are many tourists coming in Bordeaux. There are cruise ships, which also are there in the, in the city center of Bordeaux, which uh, uh, just um, tourists come to, to visit this wine capital. Also, of course, wine exports and international trade. Uh, also, there are some options which uh, are there, such as estate management, because chateaus, vineyards, uh, require some people to, to manage uh, all those things. And of course, uh, extra things such as wine publications, media, and, and much more. So who can apply for this uh, program? So people who have graduated with aggregate 55% marks from a recognized university. Uh, of course, we prefer uh, people holding a uh, bachelor's in uh, agricultural uh, field, food technology, BHMCT, uh, bachelor's in hotel management, uh, BBA in event management, uh, bachelor's in chemistry, biotechnology, tourism, international business, of course, foreign trade, bachelor's in business management, if there is there as well. Uh, we definitely prefer IELTS score of 5.5 uh, plus. Definitely work experience makes a big difference uh, and is very beneficial. Uh, valid good scores of GMAT, GRE, CAT will also be a, an added advantage. So that's it about MBA in uh, wine business management. And the MBA in international business is, is uh, well, uh, in some aspects similar. It is also taught in the campus of Bordeaux because definitely uh, wine is international business for part of it. And uh, Bordeaux also is a kind of little Paris. So many people from Paris, the capital of France, have recently moved to Bordeaux because Bordeaux is a nicer place to live. It's 50 kilometers away of the ocean. It is uh, 250 kilometers away from the mountains. So people can go to the sea in summer and go skiing in winter. So uh, Bordeaux is extremely attractive and so many international businesses have settled in Bordeaux itself. We have Dassault, we have some um, um, subsidies of Airbus. We also have Thales, which is there. And we also have uh, big logistics companies and many more. So uh, the idea of this program is to become specialized in international business development, marketing abroad, understanding exports, global sourcing and distribution. Uh, so the idea is to have some to acquire some new skills in business strategy and design, brand management, especially international brand management, international business development, understanding the subtleties of, of setting up operations in a foreign country, international sales, distribution and retailing, uh, strategic business development in consulting agencies and business unit management, design thinking and business intelligence and risk management, uh, definitely with today's context uh, regarding uh, Eastern Europe uh, definitely is useful. Uh, who can apply for, for, for this program? Uh, well, overall, the same type of profile as for the wine business management. Uh, graduation with 55% uh, plus from a recognized university. Uh, ILTS score of 5.5 plus and some work experience definitely creates some added advantage, especially afterwards while looking for an internship or uh, a job with the uh, expected degree. Uh, clearly, uh, this is uh, very well um, perceived uh, by um, by people hiring in, in France and good scores of GMAT, GRE and CAT will definitely be a, an added advantage. So that's it for, for 
wine program and wine business management program and international business. Thank you, Adka. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. David. So, uh, Charu, sir, uh, now that we've heard so much about the wine business and about international business management, I wanted to know if there's anything else that you would like to share about any other programs that are offered by the Idra Kendia campus? Yes, definitely. We have two more programs, which are uh, this uh, international business, MBA in international business and MBA in wine business management, those program which uh, David just explained to us. Uh, these program are conducted in our Bordeaux campus. And uh, the MBA in uh, entrepreneurship man uh, management and uh, MBA in uh, IT, this program are offered in our Paris campus, in our associate campuses. So in entrepreneurship, uh, IFAC is our uh, separate uh, brand for entrepreneurship in Paris. So the first year is conducted in Pune campus and the, for the second year, student goes to Paris to conduct uh, this program. So many uh, people, many students uh, particularly ask me uh, if I have to learn entrepreneurship business, uh, what's the significance of France? Why uh, we should go to France? So the, uh, the, the very important part which I feel is the, uh, the way the France looks at the startup industry. Of late in India also, uh, we have seen in last few years we are giving a lot of emphasis on startup. There are so many incentives also we are getting. Uh, but because of the, uh, the, the volumes and the India being a highly populated country, the fruits of those schemes are not really uh, uh, received by a large number of students. But uh, we have started in India. But the same journey, the same uh, path is been selected by France quite earlier. So France is one of the among top 10 uh, startup destination in the world. So uh, I'm not an expert in this topic, but I, I know a few of the companies, probably if David can, can add if you wish to. Uh, I know one company called Blablacar is a France, French startup. And now it's in India also, and it's a global company. So there are so many successful examples of uh, French startups and uh, being in a very developed, uh, matured economy, France has understood that innovation and the uh, startups is the way forward for their growth. So that's why if you go to learn entrepreneurship in a country like France, you can start your own business also. And because there is a very conducive environment for entrepreneurship, there are so many new companies which are coming up and those companies would look for students with entrepreneurial ability. They may be going for a job. They are going as an uh, employee there, but they have a different approach towards looking at things, an entrepreneur approach. So that's, that is very important thing, which I feel, uh, which is very important from the student's perspective. To just prove this point, you know, uh, uh, France has world's one of the biggest startup incubator in Paris. The entire metro station is being converted into an incubator, and that is called Station F. You can see the in picture. So, and uh, uh, the, 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 they have a movement that is called La French Tech. Uh, the French government has brought. The, uh, the, the, the students and the innovators and the entrepreneurs and the uh, people with capital and the global companies together in, in the, on the platform of La French Tech, where you know, students can now, now you see there are a lot of programs are also coming up in India also. If uh, you are, I think the shark or some name is there. So these kind of activities are quite popular there. And that's why the benefit of, you know, joining an entrepreneurship programs gives them uh, an ability to look, see, even if you do a management program, you will learn marketing. Even if you do uh, a management program, you will do sales, HR, finance, all aspects you will learn in both the program in entrepreneurship also or in uh, international business or other MBA also. But the difference in entrepreneurship is it is viewed in slightly different way. How these things, how the management basics can be deployed on an idea which you are generating and 
how to convert an idea into a business which is profitable and sustainable that is an additional element of this program and uh, as i said after this program student can also apply for jobs or they can the beautiful thing about france is if a student who completes this entrepreneurship program and later decides that i don't want to do job but i wanted to become a self employed person i wanted to start my own project so he can start on that uh, grounds he gets a, a visa there to stay in france for long time and shubham is with, with us and shubham is a living example he is currently in paris and after completion of his course he has decided to become a consultant and he is still there so that's the advantage of this program you can go for jobs also and you can go for uh, your own projects also okay so these are the some of the important uh, area which are been uh, focused Uh, during this program, global entre entrepreneurship strategy, corporate entrepreneurship, business development, uh, then uh, uh, there is some financial topic, strategic marketing, entrepreneur marketing, and social entrepreneurship. These are the few important subject. There would be a lot of other subjects also, which are very important in this program. So as I said, uh, you can go for Uh, jobs also and you can go for your own uh, uh, project also and who can apply uh, the again the very nice uh, point about this program is anybody can apply if you wanted to entrepreneur mala vyavsay karaycha vyavsayik mala vaycha asel to mala kahi vishishta shikshanach ghetlelo aslo pahije asa kahi nahi for example if somebody wanted to go for a wine program and he has done a, a, a mechanical engineering we might ask him questions why you have completed your mechanical engineering why you wanted to go for wine business management but in the entrepreneurship program anybody a lawyer a dentist a artist anybody who wanted to join who is a graduate and has a spark in within himself he can apply for this program as i said work experience or a business experience would be an added advantage though it's not essential at the same time if we found your english is not very good then we might ask for 5.5 ilts score but that is not essential if you are good in communication if you are, you are able to express yourself during interview you have completed your graduation in english medium then the ilts Uh, uh the the condition can be waived and of am i audible yes akka <laughs> i think we have lost charu sir here So uh, there could be yeah, there. Uh, I think the climate in Pune is a little cloudy today, and that could be the reason there are some network fluctuations. So by the time we get him back, uh, Shubham. Uh, anyways, uh, so Charu sir was talking a lot about you, and he was all praises about you. So uh, tell us, tell us a little more about your experience. How was it? You know, like uh, getting yourself all the way from India to France to a new country. How are the people? How was the whole experience? Tell us. uh so just talking about my background i completed my studies in mumbai and uh, a little bit in indore later did a post graduation over there after that i was uh, working in the education industry like i was working at the bank as well as contributing in the education industry trying to uh, do something because you know education is kind of a noble profession and it also gives you satisfaction at the end of the day so i wanted to do something and i was looking for some Entrepreneur, like entrepreneurial studies, which I can uh, basically look for. I went through a number of programs. I landed up with Idra. Uh, the program which he was just explaining right now, uh, uh, that is MBA in Management and Entrepreneurship, uh, which is partnered with the uh, Idra India campus and at Paris uh, in the sister institute of Idra, which is IFAC Business School. um so i did my um mba over there i completed in india and in uh, in the paris campus 
uh, after completion, I was working for some time. And then as he was highlighting, like I wanted to uh, basically practice my own and I was not interested in doing a job as such. I was more keen about developing businesses. I started working as a consultant for uh, um, a few startups and uh, which were basically startups in education industry. And currently I'm working in the education industry. I I also uh, like consult uh, in general a few um, a few uh, startups in the education industry, like apps which are being developed uh, for administration. Apps uh, similar like Byju's, but on a different platform. You know, uh, a few examples. Uh, there there are a lot of things which can more be done. And uh, as he mentioned, Station F and uh, uh, La French Tech, like. If I just uh, would be visiting it in a few days because one of the uh, client, one of my clients is uh, is uh, basically having um, a presentation over there in a few days. So it's it's a very uh, good place to learn and uh, of course uh, uh, apply a few things what you have learned. It's not a regular uh, learning process. The main thing which I saw is. The way we learn a few things in in countries like India or, or mostly like Asian countries, when it comes to India and China, the learning approach is quite uh, different than what you see in the Western world, which has changed over the period of time. And uh, um, it's more about uh, practical applications, more about case study based, more about how you can use uh, the knowledge inside, not just about completing the syllabus and getting the essential knowledge, but application of the essential knowledge as well. That's what I really like about it. Which I think is actually, you know, the need of the art, practical application and not just theoretical knowledge, you know, bookish knowledge. Exactly. I've been seeing it for years. So this is, this is, I think, a very much needed change. And it's very refreshing, I think, even for our students who are right now watching us. I'm sure most of them agree with what I am saying here. And I'm sure most of them have like, you know, once they listen to whatever you are saying, they are more excited about now, you know, exploring more opportunities with Idraq, with France and with Korea, with uh, Europe as well. And just to add on, like we, uh, like it is, is uh, uh, we have a great, like I had opportunity to learn from one of the uh, like professionals, which are basically assigned inside, like we do have, uh, amazing faculties like uh, David Sir were like permanent faculties were experts in, in the domain uh, law for his concern and uh, a few other subjects uh, as well. But we also have opportunities to learn from professionals in the Institute. Uh, as you might know that there is a lot of uh, professionals who would like to go and teach in the business school and share their knowledge. In this way, you interact with them, you learn a lot. Like we had an opportunity to learn from uh, ex-directors of Gucci and uh, big brands like this, uh, like uh, like um, managers at Nike and uh, uh, on the like managing big stores in in Paris, and uh, that's something which is which is needed because you get to know about what is going on in the industry, and which highlights uh, a lot of things. Also, uh, expertise have been provided and good help was provided by all the faculties as well, including uh, David Sir for even starting and initiating my own things. So it was a great experience overall. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Shubham. And I think uh, it's time we uh, get to the question answer session. Charisa, do we have you back? Mr. Bodhankar? Yeah, yes, I'm there. I'm audible to you. Yes, you are audible. I'm so audible would you me. like to? Yes, yes, you are audible. It says that the voice is a little distant. So would you like to continue or should we take some questions? Because I have received so many questions from the students who are watching us. OK, fine. I, 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 in a nutshell, I'll just explain this program because there are yes, some please students do. interested in IT. OK? Please do. So I understand we have time constraint. So the uh, these are the companies where you know IT students can look for jobs in France, and these are the important uh, uh, the areas where they can do their specializations, like uh, system or solution architecture design, uh, then uh, project management, ERP. These are the few of the topic which you know those students who are related to IT 
would able to understand it far better than me. The only thing is that for IT, uh, not all graduates can apply. Only graduates with a, a, a firm knowledge of computer can apply. Okay, means uh, any students, uh, <clears throat> any students with uh, you know uh, BE, BSc, uh, computer, BCA, these students can apply. Uh, and this is you know uh, uh, those students who would want to go to do ms in america uh, those students also can look for this program because it's a techno managerial program it has got a technology and as well as management in this program and as, as i said the uh, the uh, criteria is similar uh, you need to be a computer graduate and then a valid uh, score and experience would be an added advantage so that's it. And uh, there are few points Ekta, about Idra India Center, you know, that I will mm -hmm. explain in a, uh, uh, in a very fast way because, you know, we have very much of a lot of work. So, we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions. We have a lot of We start our program in India twice, once in April. First, uh, every year, first batch starts in April. And second batch starts in October. April Laji Mula Aplakade Shikara Yetar, the Mula September Paran Bartha Shikta, September Paran Tansa M1 level, Sa Masters Bartha Made Purnoto, so both French language, Alliance Fonsekadna the Shikta, Ya Charpas Mena Made, then the Sart credit Sa curriculum Shikola Zato, Sart credit the Ankarta, Anima Pude, October Pasun, Ek Varsha Satite, France Made. म्हणजे पॅरिस किंवा बोर्डो ज्या शहरात त्यांचा कोर्स आहे त्या शहरात जाऊन ते शिकतात असा या कोर्सचं स्ट्रक्चर आहे M1 लेव्हल मास्टर्स इथेच पूर्ण होतं आणि M2 लेव्हल मास्टर्स फ्रान्स मध्ये पूर्ण होतं आणि जेव्हा त्यांचं पूर्ण होतं तेव्हा त्यांना 120 क्रेडिट्स मिळतात हा आपल्या कोर्सचा एक युनिक पॉइंट आहे बरेचशा कॉलेजेस मध्ये जे मास्टर्स दिले जातं त्यात 120 क्रेडिट मुलांना तो हाँ आपला बेनिफिट आहे मैं जैसे मैं संगीत ला कि तीन बेनिफिट मिलता है पुण्य मधे शिक्षा मुड़े फास्ट पैसे कुप वास्ता जवा जवा सत्रह आठ लाख रुपए ऐंची कमीत कमी सेविंग होते दोन वर्षे चा कोर्स मधे आनी तेजा सोबत करियर मधे फायदा हो तो आशे शुभम सर के सगे आलम नए विद्यार्थी आदि पसुन तेंदा म या सगळ्यांमुळे त्यांचा एक करियर प्रोस्पेक्टिव एक विजन बनतं एक तयारी होते आणि एक चांगल्या प्रकारे धक्के न खाता शिकणं ज्याला आपण म्हणतो ते करावं लागत नाही कटू अनुभवातून शिकावं लागत नाही चांगल्या अनुभवातून शिकायला मिळतं आणि त्याच्यामुळे मुलांना त्यांची प्रगती फास्ट होते पुण्यामध्ये काही काळ शिकल्यामुळे आणि तिसरा फायदा आपल्या पुण्यामध्ये शिकल्यामुळे असा असतो की त्यांचं जे कम्फर्ट आहे म्हणजे विजाचं नॉलेज असेल बँकेचं नॉलेज असेल सगळ्या गोष्टी कॅम्पस मध्ये सगळा ऑथेंटिक माहिती मिळते कॅम्पस फ्रान्स ही फ्रान्स ची एम्बेसी ची एक शाखा आहे कॅम्पस फ्रान्स कम टू द कॅम्पस दे टेक युअर इंटरव्ह्यूज दे गाइड यू टू गो थ्रू हाऊ टू गो अबाउट विजा प्रोसेस सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ही सगळी जी जर्नी आहे त्याच्यामध्ये कमीत कमी त्रास होतो अगदी मी असं म्हणत नाही की कम्फर्ट म्हणजे तुम्हाला क्लासेस करायचा नाही अभ्यासच करायचा नाही असं नाही पण पिलर टू पोस्ट धक्के खाणं पळणं कोणावर विश्वास ठेवू कोणावर नाही विश्वास ठेवू ही धाकधुकी असं काही नाही तुम्हाला प्रॉपर इन्फॉर्मेशन मिळते हा फायदा पुण्याला पुण्यातनं जाण्यामुळे होतो आणि शेवटचा आणि सगळ्यात महत्वाचा फायदा की पुण्याच्या कॅम्पसकडे एक लाख युरोसची स्कॉलरशिप अव्हेलेबल आहे एम आणि बी बी मुलांसाठी त्यांच्या अकॅडमिक एक्सेलन्सवर त्यांच्या वर्क एक्सपिरियन्सवर त्यांच्या इंटरनॅशनल लँग्वेजच्या नॉलेजवर ऑन बेसिस ऑफ व्हेरियस एक्सेलन्स फॅक्टर वन लॅक युरो इज द टोटल स्कॉलरशिप अव्हेलेबल फॉर ऑल दी स्टुडंट्स सो स्टुडंट मे गेट थाउजंड युरोज टू थाउजंड युरोज थ्री थाउजंड युरोज ॲज अ स्कॉलरशिप इफ दे अप्लाय फ्रॉम पुणे सेंटर सो दॅट्स इट अब ऑल अबाउट मी अँड देर इज अ ॲडमिशन प्रोसेस you know uh, which is very simple you go to the apply uh, uh, submit your document these are the list of documents once you submit the list of documents there would be two interviews one from pune campus one from uh, france campus and after the both the interviews 
if you are good if you are capable of uh, this course you will be selected if you are not capable unfortunately you will be told that you know you can try for the next intake probably so that's the process i think now uh, yes this is one important for placements times of india has given our school as a top rank school for, uh, in international programs so and the uh, france consulate general she had visited our campus and she has rather inaugurated indian campus and uh, uh, like times of india time maharashtra times today has given us opportunity uh, similarly times of india has given lot of uh, importance to uh, uh, opening of first french campus in india and this was the prominent article were published in times of india this is nice this is this is actually very nice to see and hear and it's actually a privilege that today we are talking to you and our students i'm sure are very lucky that they got to know so much about education in france career opportunities in europe but still despite all of this information so we still have so many questions that students have so um, can i just quickly fire those questions on you yes yes am i audible to you yeah yeah am i audible to the rest of everybody yes you are thank you atka yes you are yes so yeah thank you so uh charu sir i wanted to know so we have this uh, i don't know who would like to answer this question you all can decide who wants to answer uh we have this one student called ashish van khede who wants to know that this the war situation currently which is a very sad situation a very unwanted situation but is it going to affect the career opportunities or education abroad with would it you know being here in india we want to know this i think david is a very appropriate position to answer david and shubham both of them are sitting in france yeah please tell us well if someone knows the future then you better ask them because i don't know the future unfortunately all i can do is eventually give some idea and for the current situation well overall is life as usual but who knows how things will evolve in one week's time from now so i would say no problem but you need to update every day because war is a very difficult situation so honestly should be fine but never know yeah i guess it's not just us not just the education industry but i think everybody out there is with their fingers crossed waiting for this whole situation to end because i don't think the whole world is in a situation to handle any more mess after the whole pandemic and everything because i really wanted to ask benedict ma'am that how is the situation after post pandemic but then because she was traveling so maybe you can tell us how is the situation david so our post pandemic are there any negatives that we should look into um well please remember that french uh france is undergoing a presidential election in april mm -hmm. uh we did have some some issues before the pandemic with the, the yellow vest movement where there was some um some political um um disagreements with the, with the president so current situation in france uh, from a political uh, point of view is uh, a bit tense I, I, i must admit however mm -hmm. regarding business uh, business just carries on it's uh, maybe a bit like in in india where uh, some people agree with the congress other people agree more with bjp and there are so many discussions and debates about it it is uh, right. overall the same here but uh, yes um, business carries on a lot of growth post pandemic so for business it definitely is is a good period right now minor the stakes related to the war thank you thank you so much charu sir are you available for a question yes yes yeah okay so uh, there is rajesh rathore who wants to know that he did his bcom in 2012 from mumbai so okay. rajesh is from mumbai he's done his bcom in the year 2012 and with uh, so he got 40% uh, marks overall and he has a 9 years experience in marketing and he is interested in international marketing so is it possible that he can do the course with just 40% marks but a 9 year experience uh, am i audible 
Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, with uh, the minimum requirement is 55% for the graduation. Mm. So unfortunately, mm. he is not qualified for the, uh, the uh, program. However, mm. if he has done any program post graduation where he has got better marks, probably he can uh, apply. And uh, now when you say he has experience. So there's, so there's a problem with your voice. Okay, I'm audible now. Yes. Okay. So the experience is a very uh, global word. So what kind of experience he has, uh, what profile on what profile he has worked, what is his achievements, probably jury will look all into this aspect and then he, they may grant the admission, but it is difficult as per my understanding. Okay, so I think we can suggest Rajesh. Rajesh Rathod, what you can do is that you can put in your name and number in the chat box so that maybe we can get back to you. You know, like uh, somebody from the institute will get back to you and talk to you about it and see what are the possibilities. I think that's fair enough, right, Charu sir? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. So uh, I have a couple of questions quickly. I think I am assuming you will toss this over to David, sir, that what is the scope of pharmaceuticals in France? So are there any management courses related to pharmaceuticals? She wants to get into pharma in France. Uh, pharma in France is very strictly regulated. So there is on, the only option is going to a, a pharmaceutical university in France. Uh, that's, that's the only option which is, which is there. However, like what doing... I can suggest now, uh, it is very important to understand which domain of pharma you wanted to work. If you wanted to work into uh, pharma business management or marketing, then probably you can do MBA marketing and also look for pharma industry if you have a previous background in pharma. So these kind of a questions, you know, required uh, meticulous uh, scanning of the profile. Then only a proper answer can be given. Right. right. So for this kind of a question, we need to understand the entire profile of the students. Then only right. we can able to guide them. Right. So again, I think I should take this opportunity and ask all these students to please mention your numbers so that somebody from the Institute can get back to you. There's another question. Do you have an MIM course as well? Now, MIM is Masters in Marketing. That is a general That's terminology. Right. So uh, our program, which is, you know, international, uh, the MBA program that we offer, it's <clears throat> a similar program to MIM. Uh, on the contrary, MBA program in some aspect considered as more prestigious program, because in MBA program, the more number of students come with some work experience. So our program or uh, 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 MBA program, so which are even better than MIM programs. Okay, so and what about MCA? The uh, the 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 program which we are we we talked about IT program, uh, yeah. MBA in information system uh, and uh, information computer management. It's mm -hmm. similar to MCA. MCA is a very Indian terminology. In Western okay. countries, they have MS, Master okay. of Science. Okay. All right. So it is so that comparable answers, program think... to Master of Science. Right. So I think that answers Raj. Raj K had asked us this question. What about MCA? So, uh, okay. And now there's one more question, which says that, uh, is there any scholarship offered in France? Because we did talk about a scholarship. So is there a scholarship offered in France as well? Yeah. As I told earlier, there are so many scholarships which have been offered by various institutions, independent mm -hmm. institutions. Uh, there's a mm -hmm. chair park scholarship, which is very popular. So, uh, so if it depends on your profile, if your profile is good, you can apply to many scholarship apart from all those scholarship, which are offered by, you know, independent agencies or companies or NGOs. Uh, Idrak also have his own scholarship, which is Indo French scholarship. So that is also possible. So, but it depends on your profile. Okay, and there's one very interesting question. I'm so sorry, I'm just firing these questions quickly. They're, they're just going on very fast. So uh, Aman Sharma wants to know what is the average salary of a newly graduate from Idraq? 
So yeah, once they get placed, we talked about placements. So what is the average salary that they can expect? The uh, the average salary for a master's student after getting am a, I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. I'm audible. Okay, the master's salary depends on the profile, uh, the work am experience, I... and the kind of company that you uh, get to join. But once you get a permanent job that is a CDI mm -hmm. contract, the general salary that student mm -hmm. can expect is around three thousand euros a month. Okay. But this is very, uh, uh, very generic statement. There could be student who may get 2000 also. There could be a student who may get even more than 3000 also. It all depends on the student, the company. And for internships or initial stages, you won't get that much salary. But mm -hmm. once you get permanent employee status in the company, these are the salaries that you can expect. Right. And uh, so Vaishnavi also wanted to know what is the total fees? I like these questions, you know, they're like interrelated. So I'm putting them together. How much do they earn? How much do they spend? So what would be the total fees? Yes. The fees for the uh, the, the program is 5,000 for the first year, 5,000 euros, roughly around 4 lakhs to 5, 4.5 lakh rupees in Indian mm -hmm. rupees for the first year and 12,500 for the second year in France. So 17,500 is the total fees. Uh, so roughly around uh, 15 lakh rupees is the total fees for entire MBA in France. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, uh, for living and all other expenses, you can consider you should have at least more 4-5 lakh rupees in your kitty. And uh, so that's the overall budget. Uh, we have a very uh, systematic budget chart done at our end. So if those who are interested to know the exact cost of everything, like what is the visa cost, what's the living cost, what's the food cost, what's the airline cost, everything. So we can uh, give you the cost sheet also. But right. roughly the course fees is around 15 lakh rupees and you should have, uh, and that you have to pay in you know two years time. You don't have to pay uh, in, in one go. Mm -hmm. So uh, sir, Neha has this question that I did my BEIT in 2010 with 65%. I am working in IT since then. Will I be eligible for these courses? So she's completed her BEIT in 2010 with 65%. Would she be eligible? So I guess her age would be around 30-ish. Probably, uh, yes. Something yes, around so that. she can definitely uh, apply. She is a very good candidate for IT programs or international business program, both the programs or even entrepreneurship programs for all these programs. Uh, she has a very bright chance. So this gives me another question from my mind that what, is there an age limit? Do you have an age limit? <clears throat> Generally, you know, uh, there is no learning age for a student at any age one can study. You know, um, um, during lockdown, I have also enrolled to a marketing program and uh, completed one more program. So there is no age uh, uh, criteria. But, you know, when it comes to visa, the visa officer, many of the time when you are applying from a uh, country like India, uh, they have a suspicion, are you really wanted to study or you are just going on a student visa and wanted to you know, settle there and you are not going to study. So in those cases, if you are age above 40 and uh, you are not able to justify why you are going at this age, then it becomes mm -hmm. difficult. Yes. Okay, so that could be the only hindrance if it comes to age. Yes. If you All are right. age beyond, you know, 30, 35, 36, 38, then you should have a very strong logic, reasoning, justification that why at this point of time you wanted to go abroad. Most of the Indians at this point of time are married with kids. Settled with kids. Yes. True. Right. So, uh, so there was just this one last question, which was also, I remember last, uh, last time also I spoke to you uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I had the same question, but this time the students are different. So I want them also to know, because somebody asked me this question again, that do you have an MBBS program in France? No, no. <laughs> and uh, again, I am not an expert in that domain. And I don't think a France, a French MBBS or a medical graduate would able to practice in India. Uh, I don't have any idea. I think 
I am taking my all words back. I don't have uh, no idea. About it. <laughs> right. I think diplomacy. Yes. I think David wants to say something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is this about the medical field? Yes. Yes, it is, it yes. is about being uh, a doctor. There is some shortage in France uh, of doctors. Uh, there is one issue, though, the, the language. So getting over the language barrier is one thing. But definitely there, there should be some investigation about opportunities. Unfortunately, it's really scientific field. Uh, so I, I'm pretty much unaware. The same as well. I saw a question about aeronautics, uh, master's degree. Uh, definitely this is physics, uh, chemistry or, or those scientific fields I'm very much unaware of. Definitely there are some, 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 um, some fields there, some big companies looking for such profiles. But unfortunately, I don't have the, the knowledge to, to answer unless uh, Shubham maybe will be adding something. <laughs> so, Shubham. I know a bunch of, uh, know a bunch of students who have come here, but uh, most of them, like most of them, already knew French. The medical studies over here are very controlled. Uh, and, Indian MBB is not valid, so even if you're thinking of doing an MBA or something, it is not actually available. Sorry, Shubham, your uh, voice is not. It's cracking. But I think it is not possible. Is not but although... Shubham, there seems to be a network error. Can you hear me right now? It's 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 a lot shaky. Your voice is a lot shaky, and we can't see you anymore. Right now, it's. Is this, uh, yeah, you're audible. Yes, you are audible. You're audible. Yeah, I was just saying that I would be sorry to inform the Indian students that MBBS in India is not valid over here. First, uh, I have a bunch of uh, Indian students, uh, like Indian origin students. I wouldn't call them Indian students because they are second generations over here. So I know a bunch of them who are in the medical field, but uh, apparently the medical studies over here are a lot controlled. And they are, um, they're basically uh, done in French. So if you're planning to do it after your 12th or something, you can, you can surely look into it, but you have to learn French. Then you have to do it, everything in French. Uh, a few students which I know have come um, from, are, have come from. I guess uh, so, Shubham, because you're not clearly audible, I think I should just complete this sentence that uh, so Shubham you're not completely audible so I'll take the liberty of completing this sentence that if you really want to do your MBBS in France I think you should uh, obviously if you want to really do it after your 12th standard you can think of it but you have to be thorough with the language you cannot just go and learn medical science in a country uh, Ekta, wherein you just think that you know you we are you know, not the right people language. to guide about it Ekta, yeah to be very frank with you we are not uh, uh, we are not the right people to guide about it Absolutely, exactly. absolutely. So is there anything else? I think uh, we are done with all the questions. Is there anything else that you would like to enlighten us on? Like maybe the no, students? It was a great, <clears throat> great experience of interacting with the uh, Maharashtra Times readers. Uh, yes, and mostly we had students uh, who are from Mumbai and I think everybody got to know a lot because we got so many questions and so many curious things. So before we just... Uh, uh, put up a thank you note uh, I wanted to tell the students if the, you still have any more questions you can still the chat box is still live for the next one minute you can still put in your questions and please do not forget to mention your name and your number so that we can get back to you and for any more questions you can go on the IDRAC website you can post your questions over there you can get in touch on the numbers given yes over to you Charu sir <coughs> let's have last ending remark from David and Shubham, and then I, uh, we can conclude. Right. Over to you, David, sir. Uh, well, thank you very much to Maharashtra Times and all the, the readers, and thank you very much, uh, Akta, for, for, for hosting us once again. Very kind of you. Uh, please, uh, to, to all the, the students who uh, have all those questions, I see more are coming in regarding placements uh, and regarding hospitality and the expense chart. Please get in touch with us in Pune uh, so we can really, uh, really cover all, all, all those questions. And uh, uh, well, on, on my side, as it's uh, one PM, I will be going to eat my lunch. <laughs> and uh, I, I David, wish you before a... you before you go for your lunch, uh, there's <laughs> a question from Samruddhi. She has done um, 
graduation from a BMCC college, which is very prestigious college in Pune. And she yes. wanted to know what is the scope for hospitality in France? Well, France is a huge tourist destination. Therefore, hospitality is here so much. So definitely, uh, there are many, many, many options. And also business management is part of those. Uh, and tourism is an international business. Wine also is very touristic. So you could consider Idrak. But you could also consider other options which are there. Uh, if you are willing to uh, inquire about uh, what we can offer, please get in touch and we will provide you with, with more details so you can really make a, a, an enlightened choice. Yes, Shubham. Thank you. So I would be just saying that uh, students who are keen Since to Since you are from Mumbai, so what you would yes. like to tell your fellow Mumbaikers? <laughs> Um, I'm not to of course, um, at uh, Idrak India campus over here. We do help everyone and uh, we have a supportive staff everywhere. Uh, you would be having me as well to help you out with uh, a lot of uh, administration procedures and um, hopefully. Um, with uh, with other things like even after your post studies, uh, we are there. There is an alumni, alumni circle which basically help the students with regards to many things, including simple things like accommodation till uh, actually helping out what is needed for placements. Um, uh, one thing is for sure, which I would like to highlight for the Indian students from an Indian uh, being an Indian student and a French student. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight is that um, India is is a, is is a different kind of uh, uh, education society as well as it comes to US. It's kind of similar. Um, the placements, if you try to search in, there are no uh, uh, like ready placement or ma mass placement options which like uh, you offer in India or US, where the companies come and recruit in in hundreds of ways. But the other entire world, like if I'm pretty sure the students who are looking into this webinar might also be interested in going to other countries, would be confused. There's one thing other than US and India and some small countries, you wouldn't be actually finding placement as an option uh, ready to be served on a table like you do, like we have already seen. Um, it's more like uh where you have to search like i do have half of my family in canada my brother is settled over there i know in, even in canada you have to search for for the jobs even if you pass out from big universities it's the same over here idrak is a well-known university like uh, institution with regards to business it's a b school and uh, after that you we do help you but there is there is one thing which i will make clear because most of the questions which I saw are missing from this, and we had it the last time, as I remember, is this one, what about placements? What about placements? Yes. It's, yes, France needs a lot of people. So there would be job opportunities. There are many. Uh, believe me or not, I still do get offers, even when I'm into practice. Most of the times in LinkedIn, people reach me out. Um, it is uh, a fact that if you are doing good, if you know the language, you accept what it is, you try to inculcate in the society, uh, it is, it, there is a great opportunity for, for the students. So I'd like to conclude on that note. Thank you. Thank you, Ekta. That's it from our side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you, Idrak. And uh, in case uh, the students want to know more, the website is idrak.org. Uh, uh, so you can just you can just Google Idrak Idra and you can see what idrakindia.org. Okay, and thank you so much, David. And uh, though uh, Benedict Mam is not here with us right now, but I would like to thank her too. So maybe you can thank her on my behalf because she's traveling and she still took the pains to you know be with us even for a minute. Thank you so much, Shubham. Thank you so much. Okay, you've told everybody the website idrakindia.org. Thank you so much, Charu sir. Thank, and thank you, thank you, David. You. Bon appetit. Thank you. Danyavad, Charu sir. Danyavad. Danyavad. Abhyatma Shubham. Thank you.